This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com Okay, good morning, Rabbi Sai. <coughs> We're learning Sefer Nechemia, Paragimel, Pasuk Tesvav. We're talking about the uh, restoration, construction of the walls around Yerushalayim in the times of Nechemia, and how they began building, uh, in Pasuk Aleph of Paragimel, they began building from the Shar Hatsoyin, and they started, this was undertaken by <coughs> El Yashiv HaKoyin Gadol and his brothers of Kohanim. And now we're continuing to uh, the various portions of the wall that were being built. Um, they were being built, we'll see in which direction. The Eishar Ha'ayin, the gate of the spring. Hechazek Shalon ben Kol was strengthened by Shalon, the son of Kol Choyzeh. Sar Pelech HaMitzvah. The governor of the of the district of the mitzvah, who Yivnenu, he built it. The Ibn Ezra points out it doesn't say who, Baninhu he built it in the past, but rather who Yivnenu he will build it in the future. Said the it says Ibn Ezra Asid Tachas Avar. It uses a future tense instead of past tense. Aipirush Hechzik Pliny Shuhu Yivnenu, or it could mean. Yivnenu Kami, not only Paragimel, Pasuk Tesvav, so who Yivnenu could also mean he encouraged others to build as well. Okay. So the Pasuk continues, Vitalilenu, he covered the gate, Vi'amid, Dalsoisov, he set up the doors, Manulav, the locks, Uvrichov, the bars, Ve'ez, Choymas, Berechas, Hashalach, and the wall of the pool of Shalach. What does that mean, the wall of the pool of Shalach? The wall of the pool of, of Shalach. <clears throat> the Malbim says, what is the pool of Shalach? <laughs> says the Malbim that this pool was Hayumeha Shiluach, Shenikra Gamkein Brichas Hamalach. The Shiluach pool was uh, the well known Shiluach pool mentioned by the Navi Yeshaya. From where they would take the water for the uh, Simchas Beis Hashoeva. Um, so it was taken from this spring, the Shiluach, Legan Hamelach, the wall of the pool of the king, which headed toward the garden of the king. Until, says the Pasuk, until the Yad Hamalois to the steps, Hayardois Meir David, that descended from the city of David. Acharov, after. A Shalom ben Kolchoyze strengthened the wall. Achra following him, Hechzik Nechemia ben Azbuk. Nechemia ben Azbuk strengthened the wall. Sar Chatsi Pelach Beitsur, the governor of half the district of Beitsur. Aneged Kivrei David, corresponding to the burial places of the ancestral plots of David. Viad Habrecho Hasuya, until the pool that was made, meaning the man made pool. Viad Beis Hagiboyer, until the house of the warriors. This is where the warriors of David would gather. Okay. Pasuk Yezayin. Acharav hechaziku halavim. After the Kohanim started to build the wall, the Leviim began to chip in. Right? We have any Leviim over here? Oh! We have a Levi from Hillcrest, right? So now the Leviim's turn. No, we have Ach- a Levi from Shevet Levi. From Shevet Levi. Acharav hechaziku... Okay. Acharav hechaziku halavim. Ruchum ben Bani. Rucham, the son of Bani, Al Yadai, and next to him Hechzik Chashavya, Sarchatzi Felech Keila Lefilkai. After him, Chashavya, the officer of half the district of Keila, he built up his district. In other words, with his district, together with the uh, those people who lived in his district, the take a look in the Mitzudas David. Ace Pilka, Ratzlamim Anshe Pilka, with the people who lived in his district. Okay? Acharov Hechziku Achayim. Afterwards, their brothers chipped in to strengthen the wall. Bavai ben Chenodad, man by the name of Bavai, the son of Chenodad, Sarchatsi Pelach Keila, the governor of the other half of the district of Keila. By Chazik Al Yadoy, and. Next to him, they strengthened Ezer ben Yeshua, Sar HaMitzvah, 
Ezer, the son of Yeshua, the, the governor of Mitzvah, Mida Shainis, he strengthened second. A, a second portion, in other words, an equally uh, big portion, after Bavai ben Chenodad, so then Ezer ben Yeshua also built a section of the wall exactly similar to Bavai. Mineged opposite Alois Haneshek, the ascent, so what's Neshek? Arms, the nesha, the ascent to the armory Hamitsoya that was in the corner. Which means like this. The armory stood in the corner of the war of the wall. Now which corner is this? We're up to the southwest corner. We're up to the southwest corner. And <coughs> Rashi says Hamitsaya the Karen Zavishokham in the corner of the wall. And that's where the armory was, which is a... Why would they keep it there? The corner was a, a more fortified location to keep the arms. And they built up that section of the wall. Acharov, after him. Now we're going from the southwest corner. We're talking about the construction of the south war, wall. From west to east, I believe. Says the Malbum in Pasuk Chav, the Malam says, now we're starting Atamaskal Tsar Hadoro in Mimara of Lamizrach. Now we're beginning the southern part of the wall from west to east. Achrav, and if this is the first time you're coming for our Navi share, you came the perfect week. Because now we're getting all the gritty, nitty gritty details of exactly how they built the wall. And you always want to live And this is Mamish, amazing, amazing stuff. How every single detail of the wall is uh, carefully outlined. Which comes to show that any time you do something for a Dvar Mitzvah, even you think it's a small little thing, you, you don't think anyone's paying attention, you don't think it's noteworthy, one day it's going to be recorded in a book exactly what you did, what centimeter of the, of the Mitzvah you were involved with, where, where that centimeter was located, opposite what, you think you're not doing something big, one day every detail is going to be recorded. Okay, so the pasta continues. Acharav, after Pasuk Chav, Hechere. Now, what does the word Hechere mean? Rashi says, to strengthen. In other words, Rashi says, the word Hechere is a word that has different meanings in different contexts. It takes on the meaning of the context that it's found so in. What does Hechzik mean? Is the next word is so hech- In other words, it's just a double Lashem for emphasis. Okay. It's just a, another way of saying the same thing for added emphasis. Hechere, Hechzik, they... Strengthened and they strengthened, they be trust and they strengthened. The Rabak says the word hechera is from a lashon of charoin or like anger. Temper, yeah. Right? Take a look in the Ibn Ezra. The Ibn Ezra says hechera me lashon charoin. He got angry at himself. Now, why is it taking so long? No, let's get it over, let's do it already. What's taking so long? Sometimes, you know, people, uh, they, they're analyzing the shul, what needs to be done, and they have meetings and meetings, and it stretches on, the months pass, and meanwhile, the light isn't fixed. So, enough meetings, get it done already. Right? Acharav, Hechara, Hechzik, Baruch ben Zabai, Mida Shainis. Afterwards, Baruch, the son of Zakai, it should say, fixed, he strengthened a, a equally, um, equal portion, Menam from the southwest corner, Ad Pesach based on Yashiv Akhangada to the house of El Yashiv the Kangada. Acharov Hechazik Meremois, Ben Uriah Ben Akoitz, Midashenis. Afterwards, Meremois, the son of Uriah, the son of Hakoitz, fixed another equal portion. Mi Pesach based on Yashiv from the opening of the house of El Yashiv the Kangada. Ad Tachlis based on Yashiv to the end of his house. Okay. And then, the Kohanim, the men of the Kikar, they began to strengthen the wall. Now the question is, what do you mean the Kohanim? We already mentioned the Kohanim. Which Kohanim are these? This could mean... Now, who are these Kaihanim Anshe Akikar? Doesn't say who they are. 
So we would have read it, Acharav means, and after the previous mentioned people, the Kaihanim built up, the Kaihanim strengthened. But says in Mitzudas David, Achar Ratzalemer, Achar Hamakam Habonai. It doesn't mean after him, but rather it means after it. In other words, excuse me. After the Merema is built, the Kohanim, the men of the Kikar built. But the next Pasuk, Acharav, after him, we don't know who the him is, so that, that you have to translate after it. In other words, after the previous part of the wall was put up, so then Binyamin, the Chashuv, put up Neged Beisam, opposite their own house. Here's a very interesting thing. You would think this is a, a minor detail. Here it's listing all the people who contributed to the wall, yeah? But it says, some people put it up opposite the armory, opposite the Kohen Gadol's house. Some people says they put it up opposite their own house. Why do you think it mentions that? Because, you know, what's a bigger Indian? What's a bigger mitzvah? To put up a regular part of the wall of Yishalayim or to put up the part of the wall opposite your own house? If you're putting up opposite your own house, you stand to gain. It's for your own benefit. So nothing is left out. The people who are doing it altruistically, it says they did it opposite the Kohen Gadol's house. People who had something to gain, also. Their mitzvah is recorded, but it's... But we're explaining, maybe they had an ulterior motive over here. Acha, says, people that did it just for the mitzvah... Their, their, their mitzvah is given their... It's due credit, right? Acharav hechzik bin yamin v'chashav neged beisam. Acharav hechzik azariah bin meisayah bin anonya it's beisay opposite his house. Then Binoy, the son of Chenadad, fixed another measure. Now we had in Pasuk Yerches, Bavai ben Chenadad. Here we have Binoy ben Chenadad. So maybe Chenadad had two kids, Bavai and Binoy. Okay. And they both, you know, built up the parts of the wall. And they built it up, Mi Beis Azaria, from Azaria's house, Adam Ksaya. Till the corner, v'yad apina. Literally, apina usually means and also till the corner. corner. However, says the Mitsudais well, here apina means a tower. Why? Why is tower referred to with the word pina? Pina usually means corner, because very often they would build towers in the corner. That's what they would do. Okay. Pasuk chafei palol ben uzai. Palal, the son of Uzai, me neged opposite the corner. The Hamigdal and the tower, Hayoitse mi beis Hamelach Aoyoin, that emerged from the house of the upper king, from the upper house of the king. Rashi says it was a tower in the wall that would protrude inwardly. So that's the part of the wall that they helped fortify. Asher lachatzar hamatara. That was from the courtyard of the jail. In other words, opposite the corner and the tower, which extended from the royal palace on the heights, which is opposite the royal prison and courtyard. And come down to this... this <coughs> This tower, this like this upper part, the roof where you walk. <coughs> what did it lead to? The palace stood on a, on a tall hill. Right. This it's palace. A high, a high thing. And the palace extended out of the wall into the city. The Matsuda says <coughs> that this palace stood at the El Yoinoi Sahar. So that, that was, was like next a, to the Chatzar Hamatara. So it was like a crosswalk up, up high. You know? <clears throat> Something like a sidewalk in the heights. The palace was built on the heights of the hill, right. attached to the wall, coming out of the wall. Right, so it was, it was higher up. Right, yeah. So what is, where did it lead to? All roads lead to... Rome. Yerushalayim. I don't know. We don't know. Right? Okay. The Acharov Pedoya ven Parosh. After him, 
Padaya ben Paros contributed. The Hanasinim, the Nasinim, the Nasinim were Kananim who in the city of Givain, who persuaded Yoshua to allow them to convert. Who many of them returned with Kairesh when Kairesh allowed us to return to Yushalayim. They lived in a place called Eifel. The Nasinim Hayu Yoshvim Ba Eifel, says Rashi. The Nasinim were residing in that district and they built up their district that was near the wall until the gate of the water that was on the east side. So it says the passage, opposite the gates of the water in the east, and opposite the tower that came out. Rashi says, That, right, that is what they built up. Acharov hechaziku hatukayim midoshenis. After this, the tukayim strengthened a similar area. Now we had these, these tukayim before. Pasukei. So it says, right, if you take a look in Pasukei, Pasuk says, Now yadim hechaziku hatukayim. The tukayim, now who are the tukayim in Pasukei? What does it mean to be a Tukaya? Any Tukayim over here? Right. In the west. Ten miles south of Yushalayim. There you go. It's a city, the city of Tukaya. So the Matsuda says, didn't we have the people of Tukaya before? So says the Matsuda David. What? Im, right? He says, Im ki kvar chziku pam, kamash gaza mala, chaz rata vazir shub, kvi amida shvan anasinim. They built another thing. Can never get enough of a good thing. They built another, they built another part of the, of the wall. How do we know the first one was good? If this is the wall of Yushalayim. So this is a, it's a big mitzvah that they're uh, participating in. However, says the Malbim, Take a look uh, back at the Malbim and Pasuk Hay. The Malbim says, So yeah, the Malbim learns that there were actually were like two uh, levels of uh, hierarchy of tikkunims. So uh, different ones built up different sections of the wall. Okay, pasuk chavches me'al right. So it says acharav hechaziku atikkun midoshin. It's minegan amigdal hagadol opposite the great tower. You would say v'yad choy me'as ha'oifel till they got to the wall of the oifel me'al shar hasusim above the gate of the horses hechaziku akoyhanim. The Kohanim strengthened Ishlineged Beisla, each man opposite his house. Acharov, Hechazik Tzadok ben Imer Neged Beisla, after him, Tzadok ben Imer strengthened opposite his house. Viacharov, Hechazik Shemaya ben Shechanya, Shoimer, Shar Hamizrach. Then Shemaya ben Shechanya strengthened the next portion. Who was the guard of the eastern gate? Yeah. Suda says, 
this tzaddik in Pasuk Chavtes, lo hayu mina kohanim. He was not among the kohanim, and that's why he's uh, broken up and separated from the Pasuk Chavtes. Acharav Pasuk Lamed, hechazik chananya ben shalemya. Afterwards, chananya ben shalemya strengthened, v'chanun ben salaf hashishi, and chanuk. Chanun, the sixth son of Tzalaf, of Yaakov. He was the sixth son of Tzalaf, not the fifth son. He was the sixth son. Midosheni, another equal portion. Acharav hechzik Meshulam ben Barachia. Neged nishkasai. Opposite his nishkas. What is a nishkas? Says Rashi, Kamay lishkasai. Opposite his chamber. He had a chamber opposite his... His... Uh, he had another room. Yeah. Oh. Now, the, so the word nishkasai is similar to lishkasai. Right? It says the Mitzudas David, the Dalit, Tes, Lam, and Nun, Taf are all interchangeable. Datlanaf. Datlanas. Why are they interchangeable? Anybody know? Why are Dalit, Tes, Lam, Nun, Taf interchangeable? Because they're all sounds that emanate from the same part of the mouth. The, 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 the palate. Yeah. Okay. Um, fine. Pasuk. Lamina. Acharov hechzik Malkia ben Hatsarfi. After him, Malkia, the son of the metalsmith, strengthened the wall. Ad beis hanasinim. To the houses of the Nesinim, the Haroichlam, and the peddlers, Neged Shar HaMifgad, opposite the gate of the Mifgad, Viad Aliyah Sapina, to the ascent of the tower. Yeah, here it's the tower again. Uvein Aliyah HaPina, and between the ascent of the tower, the Shar HaTzain, for the gate of the tz- sheep, and between the ascent of the tower and the gate of the sheep, Hechaziku had sarfim v'haroichlim, the metalsmiths and the peddlers, they strengthen that. Now, so we, we basically completed the wall. Whether you know it or not, the wall began with the Sharat sign, and it ends with the Sharat sign. So they've successfully encircled the whole city. Okay, so I'm sure you're ready to take a test now on who strengthened what part of the wall and what their names were. Okay, I won't tell anyone what the grades are, but we've basically, we've successfully completed the walls around Yerushalayim. So now, what is the reaction of our enemies when they hear that we're building the walls of Yerushalayim? By Hikasha Shama Sanvalat. When Sanvalat heard, Kianachnu Boynim Esachoyme, that we're building the wall. By He was very angry. He was very angry. Rav says in Mitzvah's David, Believe! Vayichas! And he was very angry. Harbe! Mr. Greenberg, you know what it means to be angry? Not him. No. What's the difference between Yichar and Kas? They're both anger. Says in Mitzvah's David, Vayichar is believe. Vayichas is outwardly. So you could feel angry, but you, you know, you keep it inside. And Kas is when uh, you what you act. What you want now. Right? Yeah. It's very cold. <laughs> Those are the two types. Vayichas Harbe. Vayalig ala Yehudim. He mocked the Jews. Vayoymer lefnei Yechav. He said before his brothers, the Chel Shomron and the the uh, his community of Shomron, the Shomronim, now, who are these people? Who are these Shomronim? Shomronim are people who Sancherev um, positioned in Eretz Yisrael. They were people who originally had nothing to do um, with Eretz Yisrael. They were transplanted there. But if you look in the Navi, the Navi said they served Abay the Tsar. Now, they converted, but their conversion was dubious. Now, we already mentioned from the Prickadir of Lazar. In the days of Daryavesh, the uh, Shomronim came to attack us and to try to stop us from rebuilding Beis HaMikdash, whereupon we distanced ourselves from them, we excommunicated them. The Gemara tells us that in the times of Rav Meir, they found Demus Yoyna Bahar Grizim. 
they found on Har Grizim the image of a, a pigeon, the image of a dove that they were worshipping on Har Grizim. And the Gemara says, bottom line is, Bizman Azad, the Shamronim are Havadin of Goyim Luchal Damar. So there's Machlekes, right? Whether Gerayem is same, but uh, bottom line is, when they found the Demus of the Yonah Bahar Grizim, we completely uh, cut and ourselves off from that. So he gathered, after getting angry, after getting very upset, he gathered all his uh, cohorts together. He mocked us. He said, What are these downtrodden Jews doing? Are they going to let them? You think the Goyim are going to let them build the wall? Again, this is before the whole wall was constructed. Do they think they're really going to bring Karbanois whenever they please? Or the way the Malbam reads it. Hayazvu we had in Pasuk Ches, remember? In Pasuk Ches, it says, Vayazvu Yerushalayim. Vayazvu there didn't mean to forsake. It meant to strengthen. It meant to be mechazek. Here, so here also, Vayazvu Lehem, do they really think they're going to be able to strengthen it? Hayizbachu. You think they're going to bring karbanos? Hayichalu bayom. Do they think they can, are going to complete the task in one day, or the way the Malbim reads it? Do they think then the zechus of their karbanos, a miracle will happen and they'll complete the wall in one day? Hayichayu eslavanim. Do they think they're going to bring breathe life into the stones? May aremos haafar from the piles of dust. The hemos rufais. The stones are charred. In other words, what do these Jews think they're doing? Do they really seriously think they're going to be successful in completing the wall? Do they think they're going to breathe life into these stones that lay in a pile of dust? Tovia from Amun was next to him. Even what they do build in Yala Shual, if a fox would come up, Ufarat Chaymas Amnayim, it would breach the wall. Their wall is so flimsy, it's so unstable that even a small fox could come in and breach the wall. What do these Jews think they're doing? And the Chemya comments when I heard this. I said to God, Shema Eloikeinu, hear our God, Ki Hayinu Vuza, that we've been a disgrace. Bahashiv Cher Pasam El Roisham, restore their anger. Restore, excuse me, their shame to their heads. All the shame they're heaping on us. They're questioning us. God's heap upon their heads. Usenem Leviza. Give them to disgrace the Arad Shivya into a land of captivity. In other words, let them be exiled like we were exiled. Even though at this time they were Jews. But they're interfering with Avodah Hashem. You hear this? These are Jews. These are Khan. They're converted. At this point in time, their conversion wasn't questionable, but they're interfering with Avodah Hashem when the government, even if they're Jewish, interferes with Avodah Hashem. Listen to what kind of tefillah you could say. Hear this? They're, they're Yidin. They're Jews. What about Avas Yisrael? No, no, no. There's no Avas Yisrael if people are undermining the service of God, the restoration of Yushalayim. V'yal t'chas alavoynam says, Nechemia, do not cover their sin. Do not cover their sin. The fact that they are trying to interfere with the restoration of the wall. And, the chatasa melfanach al timacha, do not wipe away their sin before you. Even after you punish them, continuously remember their sin because they are actively interfering, instigating, antagonizing the builders. Now this is the Pasuk of all the Pesukim in Sefer Nehemiah. I want you to remember this Pasuk. You hear this? Remember Pasuk Lam Ches, Perak Dalet, Pasuk Lam Ches. V'anivne es ha'choyma, we built the wall. V'atikasher kol ha'choyma ad chetzia. And the wall was built halfway. But the kasha is... It was tied. In other words, it was connected. The, the various portions that were built were connected. 
Ad Chatzia, until halfway. And, okay, so first the Pasuk is telling us that the wall was halfway built. It was halfway completed. Says a, says a Mitzudas David, even though the whole parak is talking about how they completed the whole wall because they went from Shar Shar Hatsoin to Shar Hatsoin. So uh, says the Mitzudas David. Above we say Darach Klal in general that they built the whole wall, and now we're explaining, going back to the details of it. And then the Navi says like this, After half of the wall was built, by Yehi Lev La'am La'asais, the people had the heart to complete the rest of the wall. Once half the wall was built, the people were encouraged, the people were encouraged, once they saw progress, then they jumped on and they completed the wall. After half the wall was built, then they took the initiative to complete the task. Rashi said, the Malbim says, <clears throat> Ask Rav Pam, uh, wait a second, the entire Paragimel listed that 50 people and 50 families that contributed to the building of the wall. Yeah? We know exactly who they are who their father was, sometimes who their grandfather was, what they did for a living, and what millimeter of the wall they put up. And now, when it comes to the second half of the wall, who put up the second half of the wall? I don't know. All it says is four words. The people had the heart to complete the task. Now everyone pitched in. What is going on here? Here, look at the contract. You have 37 psukim giving you the whole yichas. The guy, his grandfather was a blacksmith. This guy's father was a peddler. He put up opposite the horse entrance, right? We have, do, do you remember that pasuk? Somebody put up opposite where the horse is coming. And now, who put up the second half of the wall? We don't know. The people were encouraged to put up the second half of the wall. Says Rapam, very often in life, opportunity rises. And when opportunities rise, you have some people that take advantage and people who capitalize on it and jump on the bandwagon, even though who knows if we'll be successful or not. They will be the people whose names are memorialized for all time. When the, when the first half is complete, then everybody jumps on the bandwagon. They're not the ones who are worthy of note. The people who jump onto a project, once the project is already off the ground and is successful, and everyone jumps on. Shkayach, of course, everyone jumps on. Who doesn't want to jump on the bandwagon once it's successful? The, is that? Right? It's whose people's names are recorded for posterity. It's the people who they had to face embarrassment from the Shomronim, the people who had to face poverty, the people who didn't really know whether this wall would be successful. They are the people whose names are recorded for all history. How about the people who jumped on the bandwagon? All they get is, The people completed the rest of the wall. So it's very important to bear in mind that when, uh, when you have an opportunity to do something, <laughs> jump on it for the first half. Then you'll be noteworthy. Then you'll be memorialized. Okay. Perek, let's start the first pasuk. Vayhika shama sanvalat the tavia the ha'arvim the ha'moinim the ashdoidim ki also aruch alchem esushalayim. When sanvalat and tavia and the Arabs and the ha'moinim and the ashdoidim heard that the wall was being completed, now what does the word arucha mean? Arucha means a bandage, like we say the hale in refaina, right? Refaina hashem neyafei. In Nusuk Sfar, though, they throw in the word Arucha, right? If I'm not mistaken. What does Arucha mean? Anybody know? What's an Arucha? Yeah? So now, the word Arucha is a bandage. A bandage. Chovesh is a bandage or a medicine. Once they saw that the uh, bandage was put, in other words, the walls are being repaired, Ki Hechilu Aprutsum Lisasim, at the breach of being closed, they got very angry. 
They got very angry. Okay, Rabbi Isai. Shkoyach, have a wonderful day. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.